enforcement set to go green. Chief starter Mike Walker has the green flag in his hand. Looks the field over, lets him go. Allen's out, laws are underway. Jack Deeney gets the jump on Joey Ventrillo. Ventrillo trying to fight on the outside, but here comes the bulldozer, Ronnie Bolduck in the 95. George Maroon with a power move underneath Barry Raymond. Now battle for the lead. Long time racer at the Star Speedway, Ron Bolduck takes the lead, looking for win number one of 2015. Give the lead to Ron Bolduck. Now the battle's gonna be for the second spot. Joey Ventrillo, 94, looking well at Chuck Davey. Davey trying to hang on, but he's slipping up the racetrack now. Joey the Jet Ventrillo goes to the bottom side, gives second to Joey Ventrillo in the 94. Here comes George Maroon now in the 26 car. Maroon having a good run in the early stages of the Allen's Outlaws feature. Now we got contact in the front straightaway. Barry Raymond is through the grass. Up the racetrack he comes and everybody's out of control. Sandy Lee is around. Caution flag on the field. Rob McRae in the 52 a little anxious to get by Barry Raymond. And those two made contact down the front straightaway. Look like McRae in the 52 has a flat brake front tire. After his involvement with Barry Raymond, Raymond able to make a nice save, but had to come back up the racetrack and everybody scattered around. David Sandy Lee got the bum end of the stick on that one in the 10 car.
once again, Bolduck gets the jump. Now the battle's going to be for the second spot. Eric Sands in the 0-9, looking low on Ventrilo. Ventrilo almost got off the back straightaway that time in the 94. That allows Sands to pull up his eye. Give the second spot to Eric Sands now in the 0-9. Ventrilo now going to have to deal with the 14 of Billy Ryder. Billy Ryder having a good run in his first run of the 2015 campaign. Sitting in the fourth position, looking for more. Ryder in car number 14, first start of the year. Working on Joey Ventrilo now for the third position on the racetrack. Fourth is Billy Ryder, fifth is Chuck Ganey, sixth Ron McRae, seventh George Maroon, eighth Barry Raymond, ninth Sandy Lee, and tenth is Frank Pirimito. Back up front, Ron Bulldock in the 95 out of last New Hampshire, trying to nail down his first win of the 2015 campaign. Looking pretty stout so far, trying to run away from the Eric Sands. Yes, battle of the racetrack is for the third position now. Billy Ryder in the 14, Joey Ventrilo in the 94, duking it out for the third spot. Eric Sands, the story of the night in car number 09, had to go all the way home for the motor chain, just pulled into the pits. Minutes prior to the green flag of the Allen's Outlaw main event, and he's sitting in the second spot right now. Dedication is the name of the game for the Sands family. Car number 09, Eric Sands. Dad won the late model sportsman last night at the USA Speedway, and he's looking to win this one tonight, but he's going to have to catch Ronnie Bulldock in the 95 if he wants to do so. Way home, 15 down, 15 to go for your leader, Ron the Bulldozer Bulldog. Eric Sands trying to reel him in, not very far behind at the moment. Sands looks like he might be closing in just a little bit each and every lap in car number 09. Bulldog trying to hang on. Ventrilo still having a nice run in the third spot in car number 94. Billy Ryder still fourth and fifth belongs to the Rocket, Rob McRae. Back up front. Now putting some distance between. 
between himself and third place Eric Sands. Then battle on the racetrack is from fourth on back. Rod McRae and Barry Raymond in a heated exchange for the fifth position on the racetrack. Seven laps remaining now for your leader, veteran campaigner Ron Bulldog. Keep an eye on the battle for the fifth position now. The Rocket Rob McRae in the 52, feeling the pressure from Barry Raymond. Now McRae starting to catch the rear bumper of Billy Ryder for the fourth spot. Good racing from third on, fourth on back. This time by five laps to go. Five remain for your leader, Ronnie Bulldog. Five to go. Raymond still working the back bumper of Rob McRae for the fifth spot on the racetrack. Can he get by is the question. Car number 27 running out of laps at the moment. Back up front, Ron Bulldog is on cruise control in car number 95. At the line, three laps to go for the bulldozer, Ron Bulldog. Three to go. Now Rob McRae looks low on Billy Ryder for the fourth spot. Ryder able to hang on. Barry Raymond looked high on McRae. They made a little bit of contact. Battling it out for the fifth spot. Two to go this time by two laps to go for Ron Bulldog. Bulldog was the class of the field tonight for the Allen's Coffee Flavor Brandy Outlaw Sportsman. Taking the field to school. One lap to go for Bulldog. White flag in the air. Ben Trillo still second, and Eric Sand still third. Battle still going on for the fourth spot. But this one belongs to Plaston, New Hampshire driver, Ron Bolduck. He's going to take the checkered flag. Bolduck wins his first of 2015. Second to Ben Trillo, third to Eric Sand. Fourth to Billy Ryder at the line, and fifth goes to Ron McRae. We'll hit track side. Ron Baldock exiting the 95 car, your victor tonight in the Outlaws. Gonna catch up with third place finisher. This kid's gonna be pretty happy after one long day for him. How about a big round of applause? Car number 09, Eric Sands. Well, Eric, as I said to the crowd, you and your crew had to go all the way home after practice, change the motor. A lot of work went into this thing today and you come home third, you must be pretty happy about that one. Yeah, definitely pretty happy. Especially happy for my dad, he couldn't uh, Help me more to get me a motor in this car. Uh, Kevin, Kaylee, uh, Seacoast Wholesales, and uh, the Weber family. They, I couldn't have done this tonight without them. That was awesome. Thank you. All right. Third place tonight, Eric Sands in car number 09. Going to catch up with second place driver. Another good run for this guy. Car number 94. How about a big round of applause for Joey, the Jet Ventrilo. Well, Joey, I know you were frustrated after the first couple weeks having to repair this car, and now the last two nights you've had some pretty good runs in this 94 car. Tell us about your run tonight. Yeah, just um, chasing my teammate again. I, I can't get away from that, but uh, I'll take second after while we smash in the car. My crew's always fixing it. Uh, my wife putting up me not being home. Actually, I think she likes I'm not home anyway, but I want to thank my crew and my teammate and uh, everybody that helps me. Thank you. All right, Joey Ventrello, second place tonight. And your winner tonight in the Allen's Coffee Flavored Brandy Outlaw Sportsman. First win of 2015 for this veteran racer. Big round of applause for Plasta, New Hampshire's The Bulldozer, Ronnie Bulldock. Well, Ronnie, growing up, you were one of my favorites in this 95 car, and you're still getting it done at Star Speedway here in the Outlaws. Tell us about this win tonight. You were a sick man if I was one of your favorites. But, <laughs> hey, this never gets old, you know. I've been running these cars a long time. Tonight, the car was fast. And we got lucky on the reshuffle on the start and got the third and, Got out front early and had clean air and, you know, and I didn't know where anybody else was, so I just ran it for all it had for every lap. But uh, we got to thank everyone that helped. Um, R&R Public Wholesalers, Plasto Auto Sales, uh, David's Race Cars, Slicker Motorsports. He, he uh, I can't even thank Mike him. Mike everybody. Hodge Paving, um, High Torque Race Engines, John's Auto. I got to go drink some booze. And... Kentucky Beer Construction, I think I got everyone. If not, we'll get you next We're going to drink some beer. All right, his first win of 2015, car number 95, Ron Bulldock. All right, who wants to take a picture there? Nice job, Tyler Boss. Chris Moss. 
beautiful. Look at the hands. I'm going to get three out. I'm going to get three sideways all the time. Yeah, I like the one.